Hello everyone. Uh, now let's uh, do the NFA to DFA conversion. We have already learned how to build the DFA, uh, build the NFA. We'll now convert the NFAs to the DFAs from this lecture. So we are taking the smallest uh, string, which smallest language, which is not the smallest language, but this uh, simplest language that can be there. Let's say the set of all strings which ends with one. Okay, so W will be the element of zero one star. And W ends at one. So what will be the language? So one is the smallest language. Zero one is also the case. Zero zero one is also the case. And now zero one zero will also be the case. Sorry, zero one zero one. It ends with one, and so on and so forth. Fine. So uh, how are we going to construct this? The smallest string that is going to be accepted is one. So from A with the symbol one, I should move to the state number B and uh, this is state number B should be the final state. Okay, since I'm concerned only about the ending with one. So in the end, sorry, uh, in initially I can get zero or one. So I should remain at the initial state only with the symbols zero and one. So whenever one comes in the end, we are concerned only about that. So this is the uh, automata and let's draw the transition table for this. So the transition table for the NFA would be with the symbol zero, I go to state number A. With the symbol one, I can either go to one A state or I can go to B state. So I'll mention both of these in the curly braces, it means I can be in any of these two states, either A or B. With the symbol B, the transition is not defined for zero and the one. So I'll write phi here, or you can you can uh, leave the blanks here also. So how are we going to con convert this to uh, the uh, DFA? So for drawing the DFA, you just take the initial state. So this this is slight mistakes that I should mention the start and the final state in the NFA transition table also. So in the uh, DFA transition table, I start with the start state A and with the zero, I go to state number A. With one, I go to state A and B. I will refer to the NFA table. I go to state number A and B. So what I say that I have made a new state, which is AB state. And now when I'm drawing the DFA table, Whatever new state I get in the first row, I should show the transition from that state now. So now from AB. So from AB with symbol number zero. So I'll refer to the NFA table. In the NFA table, from state A with zero, I go to state number A. State number B with zero. So state number B with zero goes to state number five, or it does not go anywhere. So what will, what, what, whatever we have to do, what we have to do that we are seeing the transition with A, B state. So I've got some transition with A, I have got some transition with B on symbol zero. With A, I got A, with B, I got five. You just take the union of these two. So the union of these two will be A. So I will go to state number A by AB on symbol zero. Similarly, if I'm looking at the transition of AB state with a symbol one, so from AB at symbol one, if I have to see this, so I'll refer to the NFA table. In the NFA table, I will see the transition of A with symbol one that goes to AB state. You can see that it goes to AB state. And transition of B with symbol one is not defined, so it will be five. So I will take the union of these two. So the union of these two will be A, B. Now I did not get any new state in the second row. So I will stop my process here only, and then I will draw the DFA diagram. So with the state number A and symbol zero, I'll go to state A only. 
with a state, uh, state uh, from a state one, from a state A with symbol one, I go to the new state, which is A B state. In the A B state, on getting a symbol zero, I will move to state number A, and with A B, with the symbol one, I will remain at A B state only. So this is the DFA for the given NFA. So this is a very simple process wherein you refer to the NFA table and draw the transition table for the DFA. But remember that I have only written the transitions from state number A in the DFA. And when the new state come, I will start making the transitions from the new states only. It means that I have forgotten about the state number B. I just have started with the start state, wherever it leads to, I will show the transition of those states only. I will not remember, I will not mark state number B or C automatically in the table. In fact, these should be coming automatically. It may be the old states or it may be the new states. I'll show the transition with those states only, which come in the DFA table with the help of the transitions. Okay, so I hope you, this makes sense to you and we will see more examples on the NFA to DFA conversions in the subsequent lectures. So thanks for watching.